Hello, hello, hello. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good day, wherever you are. It's wonderful opportunity once again to be with you on the Grace Impact Radio, Financial Intelligence Moment with the FBI Coach. It's good to be with you today. It's good to be with you every moment, every time I sit here to share nuggets with you, to share valuable content. I feel fulfilled. Welcome to Grace Impact Radio, where word, music, and entertainment lives. This place, we dish it out hot, we dish it out spicy, we dish it out the way it will transform not just your life, but destinies, destinies and destinies and destinies. Now, even if your life wants to remain the same, by virtue of connecting to Grace Impact Radio, your life will refuse to remain the same. You're welcome once again to the, today's edition. My name is Charles Aze. They call me the FBI coach. Now, those joining on Facebook and on YouTube, I welcome you. I appreciate every one of you joining on YouTube, my YouTube subscribers. I appreciate every one of you. And if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel, please do. The YouTube channel is FBI Coach, one word, FBI Coach. And remember, like my little man will say, ring the bell so that once we drop new content, you'll be the first to know. So activate the notification button so you'll be the first to know. I appreciate every one of you following me on Facebook. It's a great privilege to have you. It's a great privilege to have you join me on this channel. Now, for the past few weeks, we have been reviewing a book titled Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill. Think and Grow Rich. It's a wonderful book. Like I uh, suggested, read every week. Every week, read just one chapter. Every week, just one chapter. Don't be in a hurry to finish the entire book because it's a masterpiece. The principles shared in this book will take us 13 weeks and we have gone four weeks. Now, if you missed the previous editions, please go to my YouTube channel. I have it there. I have those watching from YouTube channel, you can check my channel and you will see the previous editions we, we reviewed so far. It's mind boggling, it's mind stretching. One of the things that um, made me move from eating from hand to mouth to becoming a millionaire is this book. This book is one of the reasons why I moved out of where I used to be to creating wealth for myself and my generation. Now, if you haven't shared the link, please share, share the link. Every link you have, the link to the YouTube channel, the link to the Facebook channel, the link to the Grace Impact Radio, please share the link. Share, 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 share it as far as you can. My mantra is let's be a blessing wholesale. There are so many things you gain from this place. And um, I, I believe that uh, it, the pipe that carries oil will never run dry, will never go dry or out or, or will never uh, be out of oil. <laughs> Let me use that phrase. So, there is no way you share this knowledge. There is no way you share this link. You want to be a blessing to others that the blessings will not come back to you in return. Maybe you have dependents. You have those whom you want them to be knowledgeable, to learn. Now, this place is a school. I tell you, it's a school. My channel is a school. There's so much you can learn. If you don't have any business doing, by the time you spend good quality time on my channel, FBI Coach, the YouTube channel, your mind will be blown away. You will move out of your comfort zone to becoming whom God has destined for you to be. So invite others, tag others along in the comments. And I want you to tell me in the comments, where are you viewing from? Those viewing from Facebook and YouTube, please tell me where you're viewing from. I want to know your location, okay? Let's make it interactive, all right? So today we'll be talking about, uh, we'll be reviewing chapter five, which talks about specialized knowledge. Specialized knowledge, that is the title of, Chapter five, specialized knowledge. Now, Napoleon Hill talked about uh, two kinds of knowledge. We have the general knowledge and we have the specialized knowledge. The general knowledge is of, uh, he, he put it this way, he said, it's of but little use in the accumulation of money. In other words, the general knowledge cannot 
put money back into your pocket. The general knowledge cannot make you rich. The general knowledge cannot make you wealthy. The general knowledge is like knowing, is like going to school. The way he put it here, he said, it's like going to school to learn maybe law, you learn being a doctor, you learn to become uh, an engineer, you learn to become an accountant. These are general knowledge. Now, if general knowledge can make you wealthy, then professors, professors, our professors in a school will not be poor. If general knowledge can make you wealthy, there are people who know a lot about everything, but they are poor. A few days ago, I talked about the three categories of people. I talked about the knowledge-based persons, the vision-based persons, and the creative-based persons. Now, extracting from this book, on this particular chapter, which we are reviewing today, the knowledge-based persons are those who know everything, but they don't take action. The knowledge-based person's major problem is procrastination. And another major problem which the knowledge-based person has is analysis paralysis. They can analyze everything. They can tell you how the moon was formed. They can tell you, tell you the day which God created the earth. I mean, they are wide read. They are widely, they read very well. They know a lot of things. But the question is, has it made them wealthy? The answer is no. So that's what uh, uh, Napoleon Hill is trying to say in this book, that there are two types of knowledge, the generalized knowledge and the specialized knowledge. The general knowledge can never make you wealthy, can never make you rich, can never put money, a lot of money back into your pocket. Then the specialized knowledge, the specialized, specialized knowledge will not attract money unless it is intelligently organized with imagination and directed through what? Practical plans of action to the definite goal, to what you want to do, which in turn helps you to accumulate money. I'll put it this way. Specialized knowledge is like learning a skill. And not just learning the skill, because if you learn skill and, put, and you don't put it to work, it's like a general knowledge. So when you learn a skill, you now intelligently organize that skill with imagination in order to create wealth. One of the things I did in my early years, in my early years of growing, was that I, I tried to learn a, a bit of everything. But I discovered that learning a bit of everything will take me nowhere. So what did I do? I had to sit down and ask myself, what do I really want out of life? Now, I studied engineering. I studied uh, 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 electro-electronics engineering. But I don't know where the screwdrivers and spanners are today. The only screwdriver and spanner I know today is in my tongue, is in talking, is in helping people to get out of financial bondage. The only a uh, 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 screwdriver and spanner I have today is to help people come out of mundane things, thinking in a mundane way. The only screwdriver and spanner I have, I have today is to help people tweak the way they see things. You can't change anybody, but you can help someone change the view, help the person tilt the lens so the person can start seeing the glass half full and not half empty. That's the only screwdriver and spanner I know today. So money cannot be manifested by thinking alone. You know, um, motivational speakers will say, if you think it, you think it, you can have it. No, well, I'm not a motivational speaker. <laughs> I'm an inspiration agent. You can't think it and have it. You can't just think it and have it. 
If thinking and having it alone will make you wealthy, then everybody would have been wealthy. That's why I often say to people that when you think about something, you hold it tenaciously in your heart, sooner than you know it, it will become your goal. Now, if that thing becomes your goal and you start taking the necessary actions, you will get the commensurate result. You see, thinking alone did not achieve it. It requires you to take action, a meticulous plan of action and steadfast determination are essential for success. You need to have a meticulous plan of action and steadfast determination. You need, to be you need to be determined. You need to make up your mind. Come rain, come shine. High or low, whatever happens, I will surely succeed. Irrespective of the challenges I'm going through, irrespective of the no's I'm getting right now, irrespective of the disappointments I'm facing, I will surely succeed. See, life of man is not just a smooth ride. It is not. It comes with turbulence. It comes with the ups and downs. How do you manage these ups and downs? How you manage your going through will determine your breaking through. I'll say that again. How you manage your going through will determine what? Your breaking through. How do you manage the challenges you're going through? You're not the first person to lose money. I know what it means to lose millions. I mean, you're looking at your money and you can't assess it. You went into transaction just because I didn't look out a few clauses. And they said to me, sorry, Charles, there is nothing we can do about it because you signed the agreement. I had to learn. I learned how to engage my lawyers. I learned how to engage an accountant to review the numbers. There is an adage in Igbo that says, the snake which one person sees, most times usually turns out to become a rogue. So you needed a second eye to see it. That's where you need to have a think tank. That's where you need to have people with specialized knowledge. You can't know it all. You can't. And in your think tank, in your specialized uh, 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 team, let me use that word, in your specialized team, you should have lawyers, you should have accountants, you should have marketers, you should have salespersons. Did you know? I mean, have a team. It, it doesn't mean that these people are on your payroll. They might be working for you based on, um, will I call it per second billing? No, based on agreement. Only when the job arises, there must be a mutual benefit. It's either you are mentoring the person and the person is giving you service in return, or the person is being paid for the service. But make sure you have a team you can call upon at any time. You know, so most because most times when we say to people you need to have a lawyer and they feel okay I, I don't I don't have a company yet or even if I have a company my company is not big enough to start paying people on pay to have people on payroll and all that no that's not what we're talking about you need to have a team you can call upon you need to have people you can assess at any given time okay, so money cannot be manifested just by thinking alone you must have a meticulous plan and you must be determined, not just be determined, you must be steadfast. There must be consistency in working out the plans to ensure you get successful. Now, th there's one fallacy which Napoleon Hill debunked in this book, where the, the fallacy that says um, knowledge is power. And I have often said that knowledge is not power. That was an old fable. Knowledge is no longer power. It's not true. Knowledge is not power. Knowledge is only power when it is applied. Knowledge is only a potential power. 
is a potential power. Money is attracted to knowledge only when it is organized into what? A practical plan of action. Or, or the, the, another fable that says, um, idea rules the world. No, 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 no. Not in this generation, not in this century. Idea only will give you brocolysis. <laughs> And brocolysis is another word for being broke. You are being broke and busted. I've been broke several times. And I had an idea to make money. But because I did not put that idea to work, money didn't come. So idea doesn't rule the world. It is the ideas you have acted upon that rules the world. Just like saying cash is king. No, cash is not king. Cash is not king because cash in Nigeria is different from cash in Uganda. Cash in Uganda is different from cash in the United States of America. Cash in Nigeria is Naira. Cash in the United Kingdom is what? Pound sterling. So if I'm a millionaire in Naira, doesn't make me a millionaire in dollars. I might be a thousandaire in dollars. And it still doesn't make me a thousandaire, a, a, a millionaire in pounds. Are you getting what I'm sharing? Put it up in the comment section. Let's make it interactive. Let's make the algorithm smile, okay? Those watching on Facebook and YouTube, please put it in the comment section. Tell me, yes, you are getting what I'm sharing with you, all right? So idea doesn't rule the world. Idea doesn't rule the world. It, it is the ideas you act upon that rule the world, okay? So specialized knowledge can be obtained through your own research and practical experience. You know, in, in this book, there, there are three things which um, Napoleon Hill centered around. In this chapter, I beg your pardon, this chapter five, he centered this chapter five specialized knowledge around knowledge, experience, and creativity. Knowledge, experience, and creativity. You have the knowledge. If you don't use the knowledge, you will not gain experience. For you to gain experience, you need to have specialized knowledge. You need to get into action. You need to put certain things to work. And for you to have creativity, it means you are thinking as though the box does not exist. And I talked about, like I said, a few days ago, I shared about the three categories of people. We have the knowledge-based persons. These are the people who know everything. They know a lot of things, but they don't take action. Their major sickness is analysis paralysis. Procrastination becomes the order of the day in their life. Then we have the vision-based persons. The vision-based persons are those who have started put, uh, those who have gained experiences. These are those who have goals written down and they are following their goals through. These are those who are achieving results based on what they have laid out to do, what they have planned out to do. We call them the vision-based persons. Then we have the third category of people, which are the creative-based people. That's where creativity starts working. That these are the category of people who think as though the box does not exist. These are the category of people who put their imagination to work. These are category of people who, 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 who try, they don't try to reinvent the wheels, rather they modify what was in existence. Sometimes, sometimes they disrupt processes. They disrupt the economy. They disrupt the, cash flow. I mean, they, they bring changes that you never imagined into the world. These are the third category of people. I used to be a knowledge-based person. Now, how did I get out of being a knowledge-based person who knows a lot of things, but I don't take action? First, I had to uh, um, identify a positive pair group a positive pair group where I, I discuss with them, I, 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 I share ideas, I try to do what they are doing, I try to copy what they are doing. Then number two, I found a mentor. 
a mentor who held me by the hands and said to me, Charles, you can be better than who you are today. And I also found mentors from books and, and videos. I spent a lot of time on the University of YouTube, the only university that doesn't go on strike. The only university where there is no lecturer, victimi uh, uh, lecturer student victimization. The only univers the university that will not ask you for handouts. The only university where there will be no sexual harassment. The only thing you need on the University of YouTube is your data and ability to sit down with your paper and pen and learn. I remember those years I spent six hours on YouTube learning. Sometimes I spend the six hours in a stretch. Sometimes I spend six hours in the uh, three hours in the morning, three hours at night. But I make sure I spend at least six hours every day learning, researching, researching. See, success is 20% mindset and 80% habit. Your behavior. If you get that, please put it in the comments. 20% mindset is success, while 80% is in your behavior, the things you do. It's like the Pareto's principle. If you want to achieve so much success in life, you need to, uh, the 20% input you make will give you the 80% result which you want. So I moved from a knowledge-based person to becoming a vision-based person. I started achieving results. Now, if you're a vision-based person, you have your goals, excuse me, you have your goals, you have your plans written down, you, you are doing everything possible to meet your daily targets and all that, and you want to move to a creative-based person. What did I do? I placed myself under positive peer pressure. I started paying for mentorship trainings, specialized trainings, trainings that are in line with where I'm going to. I started learning the difference between life and business. I started learning the difference between marketing and sales. I started learning how to be a great network marketer. I started learning how to be a great entrepreneur, even though I had a job at that time. Then I fired my boss because I started making five times my salary. Now, in our present world, I don't encourage anyone to fire their boss. Keep your job. If I had my job today, I would have kept the job and still do my business. All I need to do is to work on myself to become more creative. So I started working on myself and I moved from being a vision-based person to a creative person. Today, I'm creative. I sit down and create things out of nothing. I sit down, when I read my Bible, I study in a place of prayer, God gives me ideas. I put it down on the paper, I work on the ideas, it becomes, I flesh it out, it becomes mind-blowing products. I sell to my community. I sell to people around the world and I'm making my money every day. I enjoy what is called daily alert. Do you want to enjoy daily alert? You need to move from knowledge-based to vision-based, from vision-based to become a creative-based person. You need a specialized skill. You need a specialized knowledge. Don't flow against the tide. Learn what is going on in the world today. Where is the world moving to? Then create your product around the things that are happening in the world. And you make your money. Why do you see that some people are trending? It's because they have been able to look into a few things that is happening around, <coughs> excuse me, that's going on around the world today, and they plug into it. See, you must find your place. It doesn't matter what you do. It doesn't matter who you are. You must find your place in the digital world. A church without a digital presence in our world today is a church that is not moving anywhere. A business without a digital presence is a business that has decided to pack up in the next few months. As an individual, you must have an, an online presence. I've talked about the different types of currency. 
um, soon it, it will be out. In, I'm, I'm trying to put these things together in my book. Okay, and soon the book will be out. Now, one of the currencies I talked about is um, the social currency. You must build your social currency. And it's one of the greatest currencies we have in our world today. The social currency. You must you must develop your so you must develop your inner virtues to be able to attract the type of currency you want. One of the things Napoleon Hill stressed in this chapter is the specialized skills. Having a specialized skills means you you need to learn how to build good social currency. You need to learn how to build skills. Specialized knowledge means you need to build skills, develop skills in the area of um, automated businesses, in the area of sales, in the area of marketing, in the area of copywriting, graphics, video editing with your mobile phone. There is a lot you can do with your mobile phone. Most graphics you see on my social media handles, I do it myself. I do it. I had to sit down and learn it. Now, I, I didn't learn it because I, I want to start making money out of it. I learned it because I needed it as a tool for my business. Even though I have graphic designers that does a lot of work for me, but there are times ideas will come into my head and I just want to put it down. I, I just jump onto my Canva and design it. I had to learn how to use Canva the professional way. And now after undergoing the training, I sat down on YouTube, I started learning a few other things to enhance the specialized knowledge which I have gained. I had to learn video editing with my smartphone. Today, I can easily edit my videos without having to, uh, maybe my, my video editor is busy or he's, he has a lot of work to do and it's delaying what I want, I can quickly jump on my smartphone and do what I want to do or using my laptop. Most times I use my smartphone. That's where the world has moved today. And that's what Napoleon Hill is talking about. Here. Everybody needs specialized knowledge. How do you want to make money? You need specialized knowledge. And this specialized skills I have learned has put a lot of money back into my pocket. There are so many persons that want to know the things you know today. But how will they know it if you don't put it in a context, if you don't, if you don't put it together as an ebook? How will they know it if you don't sell it as an experience? How will they know, know it if you don't sell it as a story? How will they know it if you don't sell it as an expertise? How will they know it? So you need to learn skills digital skills, digital marketing that will help you harness this knowledge, this specialized knowledge. Are you a medical doctor? Are you an accountant? Are you a lawyer? Whatever it is you do, there is a place for you in the digital world where you can sell your experience, where you can sell your expertise and start making money from it. Or maybe you know how to produce Zobo. You know how to produce, uh, um, 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 you know how to cook. All you need is to have a team, have a team of someone who can use mobile phone to capture the videos and do a very good editing. Give people back end how you went to the market, stepped into the muddy areas, how you were pricing the tomato, the pepper. I mean, people want to see the, the back end, the things you do behind the scene how you got into your kitchen, uh, uh, your cooking. You can have this, all these things in one minute video. A video editor can help you put all that together. All you need is just to have someone follow you in the market. As you are buying things, you are pricing, the person is capturing the video, okay. And you just make one or two comments. Come to the kitchen, prepare the food and boom. Start telling people about what you, are, are you getting ideas? Are you getting value from what I'm sharing? By the way, have you shared this link? The link to the YouTube channel, the link to the Grace Impact Radio channel, the link to the Facebook channel. Have you shared it? Please share this link with your friends. Share them with your loved ones. Let them, let them join us to learn free of charge what we are learning here. And another way to, um, to retain what you learn is that after within 24 to 48 hours, 
look for minimum of two or, or four persons and teach them what you have learned. Okay, so as I'm dropping the nuggets, as I'm dropping the values, please put it in the comment section, whichever one that resonates with you, whichever one, whichever one that sinks into your mind, just put it in the comment section. Then later you flesh these things out. That's the way I learned. When I'm watching videos, I'm not just watching because I, I just want to watch. I comment. And later I go back to the video, I check my comments, write them down and start fleshing it out, start developing content out of it. See, to be a content creator is very easy. It's very easy. It's just about using your imagination. And that's one of the things Napoleon Hill is talking about in this book. He says that you will not make money if you don't know how to put your imagination to work. How to, if you don't know how to put your imagination to work. No. However, um, now there is a story which Napoleon Hill shared in this book, okay? The first story he shared about is um, during the World War I, there was a Chicago newspaper that published uh, certain editorials, which among other statements, he said Harry Ford was called an ignorant pacifist. <laughs> an ignorant pacifist. Now, being called an ignorant pacifist made this guy very upset. You know, but he didn't when he, he didn't go about um start uh, uh, fighting them. Okay, what he did was to sue the paper company. And in court, he won the case. How did he win the case? They asked him a variety of questions, you know, ranging from uh, who, when, when did the first world was started? How many so, um, soldiers was uh, sent to the war front? You know, all those generalized questions. And um, uh, he said that finally, Mr. Ford became tired of this line of questioning. In reply to a particular offensive question, he leaned over, pointed his finger at the lawyer who had asked the question and said, if I should really want to answer the foolish question you have just asked or any of other questions you have been asking me, let me remind you that I have a row of electric push buttons on my desk. And by pushing the button, the right button, I can summon to my aid people who can answer any question I desire to ask concerning the business to which I'm devoting most of my efforts. In other words, I have a team. I don't need to have all the answers in my head. I don't. What I need to do is to press the right button and the person who will provide the right answer will, will show forth so that I can focus on my major goal. And the goal is to grow the business. I don't have to micromanage. I don't have to be the janitor. I don't have to be the security man. I don't have to be the accountant. I don't have to be the lawyer. I don't have to be everything master of all, jack of all trade, master of all. No, I focus on my lane and I have specialized persons that can answer multiple questions. So if you want all the answer to all these questions, all I need to do is to press the right button and someone in my team will come and answer all these questions. That's what he's saying to him. That's what, was, what he said to them. And he said, now, Will you kindly tell me why I should clutter up my mind with general knowledge for the purpose of being able to answer questions when I have people around me who can supply any knowledge I require? Why do I need to clutter my mind with general knowledge instead of focusing on the main goal? You see, there, there certainly was good logic to that reply. The answer flawed the lawyer. Every person in the courtroom realized it was the answer, not of an ignorant man, but a man of 
education. Now, there is something he said about education. A person is said educated when he or she knows where to get the knowledge when needed and how to use imagination for organization of such knowledge into what? Definite plan of action. I'll say that again. Education, he said education is someone, or, or to be educated is someone who knows what he or she wants, who knows where to get the knowledge for what he or she wants. And not just getting the knowledge, but how to use imagination for organization to put together that knowledge into a definite plan of action. He said that man is said to be educated. So oftentimes we use the word, oh, he's not educated, he's illiterate. No, education is not only when you go through the four walls of classroom. I have met multimillionaires that never saw the four walls of classroom. They never went through primary school. But if you are told this person never went through the four walls of the university, never went through the four walls of secondary, not to talk of primary school, you will not believe it because they put their tenses right. How did it happen? They educated themselves with their imagination. They've been able to organize this specialized knowledge which they need for where they are going. And these people are fulfilled in life. So stop calling people illiterate. Stop saying, oh, you are not educated. Did you get that? Education is not just about the four walls of classroom. Stop analyzing formal education and informal education. Who told you the man who has a good knowledge in his field of endeavor is, has not gone through the formal education? It's just the world that is trying to segregate. Segregate, just like the lawyers will call my learned friend. I said, who told you I'm not learning? Also, only when I wear wig means I'm learning. Excuse me. <laughs> I, I, I'm also learned. As a matter of fact, I'm more learned than you. <laughs> I, I give you one of my lawyer friends one day. I, I said to her that I'm more learned than you. She said, no. I said, I'm more learned than you because I'm richer than you. <laughs> my own knowledge, my own learning has put a lot of money back into my pocket. But your own learning has not made you richer. So who is more learned? <laughs> Don't mind me. So, but are you getting value from what I'm sharing with you this moment? Okay. So he's talking about education. Education. You know, such person should, such person that is educated should also be able to organize and what? direct mastermind mastermind you know put a team of people together and that's what i do i put a lot of people put a team of persons together i invest in them they invest in me we share knowledge we share uh, 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 skills we share specialized knowledge together and the end goal is to accumulate money i made a post some time ago i said group of friends that meet together that does not add one dollar in their pocket is called non-profit organization please get out of that group get out of that group a group of persons who all they discuss is to is to gossip they don't discuss business they don't analyze uh, 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 processes that will move their business forward Get out of that group. It's a non-profit organization, okay? So uh, he went further to explain uh, specialized knowledge. I so love, I, I so love this chapter. You know, I, I, I read this chapter four times. <laughs> That's to tell you how interesting this chapter is. Very short, very, very short, but I love it. I love this chapter. Then he also shared um, two other stories, you know, through imagination and application. You know, uh, 
he, he shared two examples where uh, people used their knowledge and ideas to build a business that was um, um, outside the realm of everyday individual. Now, the first example he gave was Mr. Ware. I hope I got that name correctly. Mr. Ware. Yeah. Mr. Ware, you know, who had been who was let go from his job. He lost his job from his previous employer. And um, his previous employer was, uh, uh, he was a construction engineer with his previous employer. Now, Mr. Weir took his time to go back to school to learn law. He went to law school and completed his degree. Now, in a, he completed his degree in an accelerated form. Meanwhile, Mr. Ware was over 40 years when he started this law school. So that is to tell you it's not about your age. It's about your decision. Okay? He was over 40 years old when he made this change. But he decided that his future is better than what it looks like now. And he started taking steps and applied himself to becoming a lawyer. Guess what? Once his law firm was up and running, he was hugely successful. And he even had to turn clients away at certain points in time. He had to say no to certain clients that are, look, I've had enough in my hand right now. I, I can't take more clients. Why? Because he believed in himself. He added, you know, the first four chapters is so amazing. Mr. Wei first applied the power of thoughts. He started thinking about his future. Then he applied the power of desire, the desire, the starting point of all achievement, which is chapter two. He applied the power of desire. He became desirous of going to law school to become a great lawyer. He applied faith. He visualized his future, his glorious future. He visualized himself in his law firm. Then chapter four talked about auto-suggestion. He started seeing himself acting as a lawyer. And he finished his law school in a glorious way. He set up his law firm and became one of the most successful lawyers of his time. See how interwoven these chapters are? That's why I told you that this book, don't be in a hurry to finish the entire book. Read it chapter by chapter. Just follow me on this journey. We are on chapter five today. Next week, we'll be on chapter six. Now, if you missed the previous chapters, go to my Facebook, my YouTube channel, I beg your pardon, FBI Coach. One word, you will see chapter one, chapter two, chapter three, chapter four. And you review them, you know, go through them, learn from them, uh, and, uh, uh, and add to what you know. Then the other example, the second example um, was about a woman who put together uh, uh, marketing um, packets, marketing packet books for his son, or for her son, I beg your pardon. You know, he was just out of school and did not have a large array of experiences in a workplace to draw from. So what the mother did was um, to put together booklets that allowed him to highlight various points in his life that he could uh, show experiences. You know, in other words, he helped him to gather experiences very fast. Now, when this guy went looking for job, he did not start from the lowest level. He started as what? a junior executive. Why did that happen? Because he decided to apply certain principles of specialized knowledge. See, one of the things that distinguishes you from others is specialized knowledge. Learn a skill. Now, my high income skill training for May, the second batch of May starts on the, 5th, on the 16th of May. If you haven't registered for that training, you need to chat me up on WhatsApp. Chat me up on WhatsApp. My number is displayed on the screen. Now, for those on the radio, my number is plus two three four 
7033 I'll take that again plus 234-7033-109363. In this training, I teach you how to move your life from point A to point B. I teach you how you can create digital products you can sell. There are about 20 different digital products I'll teach you which you select from. I'll, I'll teach you how to become a money magnet. I'll teach you how to become the sugar that attracts the ant. I'll teach you how, to, you know, salt and sugar are both white, but only one attracts the ant. I'll teach you to become the sugar that attracts the ants. In my high income skill training, I, I teach you how to become a good affiliate marketer. I teach you email marketing. I teach you how to sell, how to tell constructive stories. In my training, I teach you how to build a formidable brand. I, I teach you the tools I use in becoming who I am today and keep getting better at what I do. You don't want to miss the training. So chat me up on WhatsApp. Let's get rolling. You can drop a private message to me. You can chat me up on Facebook privately, FBI Coach One Word. You can chat me up on Instagram, FBI Coach One, figure one. That's my Instagram handle. Let's get rolling, okay? So that I can show you a whole lot I know that can help you move from point A to point B. I, I believe you're getting value from what we are sharing today. Now, if you haven't, um, if you haven't shared this link, please share the link, share the link with your friends, share them with your loved ones. And I often say to people, share with your enemies because that will make them be at peace with you. <laughs> so generalized, uh, um, specialized, general knowledge, I beg your pardon, general knowledge is not useful for the accumulation of money because it lacks expertise. In fact, in the competitive society like ours, uh, Every product and service is supposed to find its place within the market. Every product or service you have should find its place in the market. And you need a specialized knowledge to move your product into, market, into the market. You need specialized knowledge to market what you have. You need a specialized knowledge to sell what you have, to sell your skill, to sell your expertise, to sell your knowledge, to sell your story. You need specialized knowledge. That's why FBI Coach is here for you, to guide you, to hold you by the hands, to ensure you achieve success in that which you do. Now, all products we see in the, uh, um, um, excuse me, all products we see today, uh, uh, which have survived the market wars is because the, the owner or the convener or the producer have been able to go through some specialized trainings, okay? So you need specialized training. You need specialized knowledge, all right? The Think and Grow Rich um, chapter five, specialized, specialized knowledge. <laughs> I say specialized. I beg your pardon. Specialized knowledge introduces us to the concept of mastermind. Even though he, he, he shared about it a lot in chapter 10, but when we get there, you will get to know more about it, okay? Uh, chapter 10 is fully de dedicated to mastermind, but that's not what we are bothering ourselves with today. Let's deal with what we have at hand, okay? Mastermind is like a group of people who, who have knowledge, you know, who have knowledge that you need, you know, to achieve a particular goal or achieve a particular, attain a particular milestone, and this mastermind is always managed by a team lead who should conduct the thinking of the group with, um, um, with intelligence, with imagination, with creativity, with concepts, putting ideas to work, helping people come together. I remember several years back, there are a few friends I, I got to know then, um, 10 of them, they came together, no, there were 
Yes, 10 of them. They came together, they pulled funds together, and they started a business. Now, this person brought their expertise. This person brought their expertise. Later, I was introduced to that group. So I joined them. Now, when we make proceeds, we share our profit based on the percentage you brought in. There is a minimum which you can bring, and there is maximum which you can contribute. You know, how did they let me into the group? It was when one of them dropped. The, one of them had serious issues, okay, which centered around integrity. They couldn't keep up with it. They let that person go. So one of my friends now told me about the group. That was how I filled in. They don't, we, we, we don't go beyond 10 persons. Now we started business. We, that, was, that, was our, that was how I started a mastermind group. We pull funds together. We started doing businesses. We analyze any business we bring in. We analyze it. Okay, is this business a Ponzi scheme? What makes it a Ponzi scheme? Why do we think it's a Ponzi scheme? We take time to analyze the business, look at the pros and the crones, and eventually we say, okay, yeah, now this is a good business for us to put our money into. I remember the early years of cryptocurrency. We invested a lot into cryptocurrency. We made a lot of money. We lost at some point, you know, but we made a lot of money. So you need to find pair groups. You need to find positive groups. That's why I said to you, any group of person or persons that sit together to discuss, but whatever they share does not lead into Naira and Kobo dollar pound sterling, but just discussing is called what? A non-profit organization. And you shouldn't be part of that group. Now, there is an exercise which I have, I have for you to carry out. This will help you in uh, developing your specialized knowledge. Now decide on a particular merchandise or a particular product or professional service you will apply to generate your fortune. You must decide what is it do I want to do to make money? What is it do I want to do? Currently, I sell Akara. I sell Akara. How do I make money selling my Akara on the digital space? It's simple. By creating a WhatsApp group, by teaching people how to cook, how to fry specialized Akara, by trying to locate people within your environment using, using Google My Business, locate people within your environment that can buy your Akara. You sell handbags, you sell shoes, you sell whatever it is you sell, digital products, you're into services. There are so many processes you can use. These are, these are the things I, I, I teach people in my high income skill training. So first you need to decide what do I want to do to generate my fortune? That's number one exercise. Number two exercise, identify an individual or group of people who have built their prosperity through the same model you are thinking of going through. You need to find these people. It's not enough for you to decide this is what I want to do. You need, you know, I, I, at every point in time, I keep talking about um, pair group. I, I, when I talked about the three categories of people, the vision, the knowledge base, the vision base, the um, creative base, I said for you to move from knowledge base to vision base, you need to put yourself, you need to find a pair group and you also need to find a mentor. Then for you to move from vision base to creative base, you need to put yourself under positive pair pressure. You also need a mentor or a coach. Okay, so when you have identified the business you want to do, the next thing you have to do is to find a mentor, a coach, a place, a school, either online school, offline school, where you will learn the skills needed to enhance what you are doing. Then number three exercises, find out everything you can from this group of people, from this mentor, how they did it. And how will you do that? Is by paying for their trainings, is by registering on their specialized classes. The best result will come from entering into mentorship relationship with them. 
Now, you don't have money to pay for any training, then you should pay YouTube. <laughs> How do I mean pay YouTube? You should spend more time on the University of YouTube. But let me tell you something. It's not enough to spend time on the University of YouTube. You need a mentor. You need someone that will tell you, look, yes, these are the things that has been said on YouTube and all that, but you can tweak it this way. You can put it this way. You can fashion it this way. You need someone to hold you by the hand to ensure you achieve your dream goals and your purpose. I believe I've been able to add value to you on today's um, review of the Think and Grow Rich, the chapter five. If you have gotten value, please don't forget to share this link with your loved ones. Don't forget to share it with your team members. Don't forget to share with your friends. Don't forget to share with your enemies because that will make them be at peace with you. It's been my pomp, pleasing pleasure and a privilege to be your host on the Grace Impact Radio today, Financial Intelligence Moment with the FBI Coach, where we dish it out hot, we dish it out spicy, we dish it out fresh. Thank you very much for joining me. And, and I believe that um, a, a, another time on this channel is going to be better than what we are having today. I, I believe you are getting value. Stick to this channel. Don't touch that dial because it's a hot one. If you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel, I want to remind you again to please subscribe and activate the notification button. Remember, Financial intelligence is the key competence needed to succeed in our world. You need financial intelligence. You need to be financially intelligent. To be financially intelligent is for you to be able to solve financial problems without encountering financial disaster. I appreciate every one of you. And remember, one income stream is dangerous. Get out of one income stream. Build that income stream. Diversify. Build diversify, build, diversify. Thank you very much. Until I come your way again, I remain Charles Eze, the FBI coach. Bye.